What's up, man? What's up? There you go, got a mic for you. How y'all doing? Yeah. Yeah. So, what's up, man? Whoa, well, um, I'm, I'm glad you're here, and also you need to explain for us really what this digital extravaganza is all about. Well, I mean, for me, you know, the, wait, first of all, I gotta show you the official Brooklyn handshake, because you, you got, it's called No Fingerprints. Okay. All right, no, because, you know, we went from, you know, this shake, and then we went from this one. Right. Too much crime in the world now, so when you greet me, you gotta go like this. It's right. called No Fingerprints, you know what I mean? Leave nothing behind, you heard? So, <laughs> so <laughs> you heard? So let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> go. Ladies and gentlemen, here's White Clothes John. Right, <laughs> so, I mean, for me, I'm here, I'm hosting like the digital side of it, which is important because the whole world has moved into the world of technology. So it's important, even though you're watching the TV, uh, we also have a gritty side of it on the internet. So the things that you can't see on TV, I can bring it to you on the internet. But then again, you were an artist, so you know that sometimes some journals go a little bit too far. Does it mean that you will respect that, or just the total opposite? I mean, you know, I don't take myself seriously. If, if any artist is watching, you shouldn't take yourself seriously either. So if I'm going to ask you a question that you might be a little uncomfortable with, you should probably um, brief your PR in advance and hide from me. No, you're back. No, no, when I came back, after I vanished, then I come back with what? I don't know, you're coming back now, I don't know. No, don't I, know. okay, here you go. So then I vanished for three years, right? Mm, something like that. Yeah. yeah, I go to Haiti. I go do charity work for my country. So I didn't vanish from the music, right? So I had to go do some work in my country because America, the world gave me so much success, I felt like going back to my country. So then as I go, then will I am emerge, right? So then when I come back, the first record I do when I come back is a record called Hips Don't Lie. Yeah. That record broke Michael Jackson's Elvis Presley. It's the most played song ever in the history of this century. So when I came back, I feel like Muhammad Ali. You know how Muhammad Ali, you know what I'm saying? So listen, man, you know I'm still young, I'm bad, I'm pretty, you know what I'm saying? So. For me, music is just natural, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm glad like somebody could say, okay, here's a version of a younger white cleft. That makes me feel good because it makes me feel like what I do is relevant, you know what I'm saying? That people can, um, when I was coming out, people was like comparing me to Barb Marley a lot, you know what I'm saying? So now they're like, okay, there's white cleft. You know, there's a younger version of white cleft. So I think it's a beautiful thing that I can inspire anybody to be like me, you know what I'm saying? But Will I Am got his own thing. He got his own style. Big up to Will I Am. So I get to my hotel, right? You know, like I'm from New York, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm used to a certain style, you know? So I get out of my hotel, you know? So I'm like, who made back is that? I see a big, long thing. Yeah. Yo, that's Snoop Dogg made back. I said, all right, cool, no problem, you know? So I get in there. They give me the key, right? to my room, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm still walking like Sean, you know what I'm saying, walking like Sean. So, I get to my room, I purr, purr, open the key, you know, B, it's two small beds, man, <laughs> on each side, but I'm not lying, right? And I say, okay, you know, maybe there's another side to this, to this room, right? <laughs> so I go, right, and I open up the bathroom, right? And I'm kidding you not, because I ain't take a shower all day, right? B, this is how I got into the shower. <laughs> Yo, straight up, that's what MTV looked for me. For real, until now, I'm still trying to find a barber. I'm telling you the truth. Yo, real talk, they have to because they know it's the truth. <laughs> well, I believe that we will be able to work that out. And uh, where's Richard Godfrey all of a sudden? <laughs> Yo, where, where the king at? Where he at? Can we... Can we work it out? I mean, there's like the global press here. I mean, can we... Yo, can I get a better room? Can y'all give me somewhere I can stand up in the shower? It kind of does need to be bigger because of the environment and stuff like that, but... Yeah. Give him a bigger shower. <laughs> Great. So we work it out this one. And, you know, I'm traveling. And it's hard to miss Tokyo Hotel. The posters, you know what I'm saying? Because it's one dude with a big afro, you know what I'm saying? He looks just like a woman. And then they're like, 
like five dudes next to him like this. <laughs> so, so I was just like, who is that bad right there? Because I was like, whoever the PR was, it just looked, the picture just looked like rock and roll. Like, you know, the era of the Bon Jovi. So I was saying, who's this band or whatever, you know what I mean? So, I, honestly, you know, I look forward to seeing the band play tomorrow and hear what kind of music. The good thing about um, this, this award show, every time that I come, you get to experience music from, like, the world and not just America. So I look forward to seeing them and asking him about his hair and the whole thing. But I felt it was cooler if I spelt it W-I-C-L-E-F. But I'm actually named after, my father was a, a minister so he, he, uh, of theology, so he named me after the, the reformator, Wycliffe Jean, that translated the English Bible. He was an Englishman. He translated the Bible into English literature, and after that he was executed by the English for <laughs> translating the Bible. But hopefully I won't get executed by London or anything. In our sound system, they're coming from New York, so um, I don't know how many parties is going on that night, but definitely there will be a big party, and unfortunately, after party is always, there's always an after, after party, you know what I mean, and um, you guys are definitely well, welcome to be part of the entire night. Super. Super. I like it, I like it. Uh, so, question for you though, even uh, sorry, there's some people here that don't understand what Zoop means. Okay, should we, should we explain what Zoop yes, means? Yes, what is Zoop? Zoop is a colloquialism. And um, it basically means good things good and things. happiness. Yeah. Zoop. If you're all having a good time, you need to all say Zoop. So after three, one, two, three, Zoop. So you know, no, no, you're not going to do that probably you now. Disrespecting why can you come all the way here from the States to be in cold Germany and you're not saying Zoop. So after three, one, two, three, Zoop. They still don't understand that they did it in school. Are you going to be performing any tracks from the carnival at the after party of the new album? Yeah, the, the, at, at the new album we'll be featuring some of the new music from the new album uh, slated November 26th, Shameless Plug, and uh, we will be definitely performing. If you've never seen Wyclef perform, definitely come uh, to the after party and have a good time. You will definitely have a good time. Thank you. Look forward to seeing y'all. Zoop, zoop. Zoop, zoop. I believe it's going to be kind of complicating having an after, well, an after party after the after party, that's all right. After the after party at the hotel lobby, that's all right. But in your room, I believe it's going to be kind of complicated. Well, yeah, in the new room. But we straighten that out. I'm getting a newer room. Okay.